and then obviously the big one will have to pull this. Here we go. Yes! Okay, so hi guys, welcome to part four. And uh, so what just happened last one was we had this magical griffin, uh, owl, lion, bird thing. Um, take us across the, the valley to this uh, burnt out, ashy looking area. Uh, I thought I'd actually saved it, but apparently it hadn't, so I had to replay that last bit where I let it escape from the cage. So I guess we'll just carry on from here. Uh, so, story, as always, if you haven't been watching any of these, is that uh, their brother, their brothers and their father has an illness and we're tracking down a mystical, what looks like a tree from the map uh, to try and... Okay, this area is pretty cool. Uh, to try and save him. And the mother died when uh, from drowning and so that's that's pretty much you are up to date uh, they've started introducing some pretty cool um, like mechanics last time we had like a, them two like being tethered together which I thought was pretty awesome um, so now we're in the land of the giants as I'm gonna call it I was gonna say unless we're like really small and they're like human size, but there's uh, the vultures are our size, so I'm gonna say that they're giants. And oh. 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 Not that there's anything wrong with being a giant. I'm not giant or something. And uh, yes, yeah, so the little ones scared of water, so you have to have him. Well, I don't know if you have to have him, but. Uh, it tends to work out better if you put him on the back of the older one. So now we have to look for a way to get the big one up, although there is a thing here. Can you get up here? Hey, Nae! Do something with the tree. I mean, if I go up a hey, Naya. above it. Hey, Naya. Hey, hey Naya. Naya. Okay, hang on. Can you go back down again? Something else hey, I can Naya. do. Hey, Naya. Okay, let's think. Let's think. Hey, hey Naya. Naya. Okay, so I'm guessing he's gonna go across and that'll lower it. it. Looks like it's working so far. There we go. Good. So that's a typical kind of like puzzle thing you have to do. And uh, also the left trigger and left stick are for the big brother and the right trigger and right stick are for the little brother. So it's like a twin stick game, I guess. That's pretty cool. Bloodstream. So yeah, I was saying in the last one, I'm not sure if this is part f uh, chapter 4 yet, or whether this is the end of chapter 3 still, but either way... Uh, you know, we're getting there. Seven chapters in total. 
for my research. And an epilogue, so. That's something to look forward to. Can we jump over here? Yes, we can. I don't know if we would want to, though, because it's pretty useless. Look at that, that's like just pure red. Uh, can we come over here? No. Yeah. Da. Hmm. Okay, there's a thing there. Maybe we can climb up that. So get them both across here. And then up this uh, plank. Okay, so that's just gonna like cut his leg off so we can move. I'm guessing. It's pretty lucky all this is like set up in such a way. At least it was sharp. We only had one shot, and if it was blunt, we'd be screwed. So, okay, right here, obviously. Another bench, which I still don't know the point of, but you can look at your. It shows you like the future uh, areas you'll get to. Well, not all the time, but most of the time it is. So, can we interact with that? Oh, okay. So there's like another stick here. Tree. Oh, okay, it'd be cool if... I'm guessing we'll get to shoot that, um... Anything around here? Oh. Hundred. You sounded a giant horn. Sweet. Well, it pays to, to search around. That's what I'll say. So you go up here. Oh, okay. And hopefully this this bit will be cool. And if we'll just like get a headshot, and then it'll you'll, like roll backwards, and then we'll be able to get through the uh, that area. Maybe they need to swap sides. I don't know. Let's have a go at this. Pull it back. And then, obviously, the big one will have to pull this. Here we go. Yes! Alright, that was awesome. Now, down we get. And head across the tree. Yeah, I'm guessing that troll that we met, uh, Mush the Troll, I'm guessing he was just like a nymph in that chapter. I can hear commotion. But the, come on, camera. That's not very helpful. Oh, cool. Under the... The blood fall. Oh, this... I didn't even see that. Ew. Hopefully there's no sharks in this next area. Although if there's vultures, I don't know if that's much better. Oh, cool, blood footprints.
There you go. I was uh, playing Dead Rising um, the other month, and that also had like blood footprints if you stand in the thing, which I wasn't expecting. So that was pretty cool. Wow, she's tall. She has a bit of Princess Leia about her, like face-wise. So this looks like some sort of sacrificial ritual. All we're missing is King Kong, which is a shame. That's kind of thing that probably put in this game. So I wonder if we're gonna have to save her or whether we just leave her to get um, speared or whatever they're gonna do. Oh! So I wonder if we went to use one to like distract them and the other one to go and save her or something, whether we should just... Oh, hang on, what's this? Alright, so maybe this will like scare them away. But I don't know, I might just get stabbed. Yeah, we just got stabbed, okay. Okay, so now I need to work out what that's for. Okay, I don't think we can go down that way. Clear for something. Okay, let's try and work this out. Kill ourselves in blood? Okay. And now try. Run away, please. Okay, they worship us, right. I'm guessing we're going to run off to the right over there. They're like, oh no, we've been duped by two kids. They'd probably fall for the same thing, like, you know, that uh, thing you get in films where there's like a, two kids on top of each other's shoulders in a big coat. That's the kind of thing they'd probably fall for. Best example of that is uh, Austin Powers and Mini Me and Gold Member. So if you haven't seen that, you should check that out. Otta. This reminds me of there's like the caves. I think it's the Devil's Pit in um, Sand Hill Downpour, which is all like, god damn it, which is all like cavey and uh, dark. Muhammad. Araba. Ah. If she points down a stream, then... Okay, boat, same thing. I saw an oar, so I wonder if we have to like, pick that up ourselves. Where is it? There. And then there's another one? No? Okay. Can I pick up the oar? Okay, let's get the boat in. No? There we go. Okay, there's some in there. Ah, okay, I was cl clicking the triggers. Uh, okay. Right, hang on then. Uh, can we turn? Um... Okay, now forward. And now turn a bit. Okay, okay. So it's much like when we had the um, 
I think it was in chapter two, we had the... What do we have? We had the, the, the weird pushy things. And you have to push back on one of them and forward on the other and that turns it. So it's basically the same thing here. So, do we go left or right? It looks like right. Alright, come on. Oh, okay, that was my fault. Cool, like, blood streak effect, though. So. Um, yeah, okay, here we go, here we go. Hopefully, there's nothing where you're, like, under pressure to. Actually, you might be getting off here already, on the other side bit. Okay, there's a weird kind of creature thing. Yeah, so saying hopefully there's no thing where we're like under pressure and we have to. Like a weird killer whale. Goldfish tail flourishy kind of thing. So basically, avoid the bubbles. Which isn't good because I can't steer this bloody thing. Okay, wrong way. Go! Okay, so how am I do that exactly? I'll just I'll try going left. Let's see if that makes a difference. Here we go. Come on. Okay, so if we just stop, that pretty much uh, helps a lot. And do we go over there, or do we go here? Okay, let's just try going along, like, right at the end of this thing. This is actually the first time I'm playing this game, like, during the day. Because usually I just like to do it at night, because it's quieter and, like, way simpler. But yeah, daytime. It's actually, the like, weather's pretty awesome. Okay, so do we keep going again? Okay, he's following us. Go! No! Oh, no we go backwards. Okay, good, that worked. That one was close. Okay, so it's pretty simple. You just pull down on the one that you want to, um, on the direction that you want to turn. Right, if we just keep pushing, then hopefully we'll be too quick for them and they won't even have time to try and kill us or anything. Okay, backwards, 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 backwards! Okay, that one was close. I'm assuming we... Uh, row through the turn, damn it! What are they doing? They're just going really slow for some reason. And this is not the direction I want to be going in. Come on! Fuck. Left. And then I reckon... Oh, I don't know what we do from here. Okay, good. I was, if, if she did just, like, stop there, and I was there, I'd be like, oh crap, I don't know what to do now. Cool footprints, though, getting left behind, I like that. Well, it's basically the same thing that I did with the blood, just change the colour, I guess, so. Oh, now we have, like, slippy ice. Okay, cool. So, let's... And at some point, you know, the ice is going to start, like, cracking and shit, so... Here we go. Oh, yeah.
So now maybe this is chapter four. I don't know. She's like creepily skinny. Turtle! Oh look, it's got like, it's got like a frozen... Uh, shell. I don't know if I'm meant to help it or just like... Stay away from it. Okay, we've got another secret area. I'm guessing we drop them down here. Okay, that seemed to work. I don't know what I don't know what they're doing up there. Okay, two. Is there another one? Let's see if there's another one. Yeah, okay. So you gotta go up here. I don't know if you can like push him. You can't, okay, good. See, that's what I mean, like the puzzles, like even if you kind of at first you're like, I'm not sure where I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna be doing, like, it is pretty quick to work it out. Which I like. I hate, I hate stuff where. Basically like Resident Evil where I have no idea what I'm going to be doing and I really suck at that kind of game. Like Silent Hill is way easier than uh, Resident Evil in my opinion. 150 for turtle soup. You help the turtles to the sea. I don't know if that's the sea, it's more just like an area. I thought we were going to have to like melt the, um, the turtle's shell because you wouldn't be able to get his head in because he's got icicles on it or something, but I guess not. But cool. Still need to go through and do the uh, the black sheep one. But yeah, we're doing well. That's pretty cool, like the, the frozen kind of... Oh, okay, I'm gonna climb up here, I guess. Goes to dynamite. This area is pretty cool. So what we need is so we've done. We've had like the cave. We've had snow. So obviously we're gonna have to come across some sort of like fire level. All right, what's your point now? What's up here? Ooh, like frozen people. Okay, so we can cut this tree. Ah, okay, so then we have to use that. But, uh, okay, but I'm gonna have a look down here because it looks like we could kind of explore a bit more. And I'm all about the exploration. Oh, okay, it's just another bench. While we're here, may as well. Okay, it's more like... Oh! Boom! We're on fire with... our achievements today. That's going well. Only 50 for that. I, I don't know how they, they pick how much it's worth. I guess because that one you just had to sit down, whereas in the, the turtle one you had to move three turtles or something, but whatever. So is, is tundra the ice? Gaia? Like tundra is like icy, I think, so. Alright, this bit's pretty simple, just move the left and right stick together. 
and there we go. Almost cut off little brothers. Whoa, look at that, that's creepy. Whoa, okay, cool. We've got it's like a gymnast we got here, okay. Excellent. Okay, so we're coming up on like another little village thing here. Across the bridge. This is pretty cool. So again, don't go with her and go our own way. Let's see if we can Let's see if we can hold on to this. Do we push it? Yeah. So hopefully there were snowmen and not like people. Hey, Naya! Oh, okay, so we were meant to do that so that we could get into this place. It wasn't like another... Um, what's it called? Actually, there's another one over here. I wonder if we can get to that. Doesn't seem like it. Maybe run back here? No? Okay. Alright, so. If we pull that, does that pull it back down again? It does. Okay. So I'm guessing we just fuck her off over this. Way. Is that safe? I don't know. How's he gonna get over it? Plus, he's just letting his younger brother off with a stranger. But... Ah, and then he'll. Well, it's lucky they were on the sides that they ended up on then, isn't it? And that looks like that's sorted. And he can fit through these bars. I wonder if there's going to be some sort of gameplay mechanics since how they're now split up. Okay. I wonder if we ever get to see what that is, or whether it's just like, oh! Lol, and as I say that, it's like the only, it's the first invisible enemy we've come across. So, an invisible troll we have to deal with now. I think it's a troll, or like another giant thing or something. Okay, so, she's like, pull that thing. Ah, okay, so we'll cross over and join brother, and then they can both grab a, a hinge, grab a doorknob handle, and uh, we'll get into that icy area here. Simple. Whoa! Okay! Oh, she's opening. Oh, no, she's hanging over it. Oh. And she's stronger than she looks. Okay. Okay, cool. It's like a bring on the wall. Or was it hole in the wall? No. Which I don't recommend googling if you don't know what that is. I'm guessing she's running, so we'll run as well. Okay, that was simple enough. Oh, die. Uh. Okay, so she'll move that around for us, I'm guessing. Yeah, and then... Yeah. We'll hop up on here. And then she'll push us around to somewhere. Again, it's lucky they've got such amazing grip strength. And I wonder if we'll have another troll encounter here, seeing as how there's... That was close, now you fell. Can you believe it? He's not hiding very well behind that thing either, I can see him. But you just see his head poking out. Oh. Okay, so if you saw that, would you still be hiding? Behind snowmen, when you see that he, he clearly isn't that fond of snowmen either. But whatever. 
Let's carry on. What if we can? Okay, I was gonna say, what if we can hide in the well, but it's not even deep enough for us to get in. Okay. Come on, work out the system again. There we go. And into the house. Just as he comes back. Okay, he's gonna break the bridge. You can see the cracks in it. Here he goes. Him. Wow, this area looks pretty awesome. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave it here for part four, I believe. And maybe this is chapter four, maybe this is chapter five, I don't know. But next time, uh, join me as we go around the northern lights and uh, we get more help from the slender woman. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time for part 5. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you guys next time.